guys, this is how to change your flux core wire spool on a Lincoln Electric Wildpack 140HD. Today I will be using Lincoln Electric 035 flux cord wire. This is shielded wire so you do not need to run gas with it. Open up your side drawer and pull your wing nut off and the Teflon spacer. Take your roll. and pull out the end. And you're going to want to cut this. Do not let this unravel. That's the most important part. And get your side cutters and cut off the curved section. You want it to be straight whenever it gets fed through the wire to your handle. If this gets unspooled, you'll have a bird's nest and it's not fun, so keep your thumb on it. For some reason, they have this with the sticker facing in. I'm not sure why. I left my plastic shield on here that was on there last time. Just wiggle it on like that. Make sure it spins freely. And make sure that your um, wheel here that rides on this bearing is on the right setting. Mine is on the 35 still. Check out one of my other videos and I'll show you how to change that. But basically what you're gonna do is start to feed this in. With still keep pressure on it. Put your bushing back on, it has a slot that lines up. Then Put your wing nut on, and you want medium pressure on that. It should be able to spin freely, but should not be able to unwind itself. Then, you're going to want to plug your power in. Grab your spool end, turn your power on. And with your wire speed on a low setting to start, uh, start squeezing the trigger and feeding it in. And what I like to do is just bump up my wire speed to like four or five. Also, when you're removing your old wire, make sure you pull out the excess. Right, too tight there. You want this line to be as straight as possible as well. There it goes. And take your snips and cut off the excess. And you're ready to weld. You can play with this wing nut to adjust your tension if you feel like it's too loose or too tight. I thought I was too tight for a second there when it hung up, but it was just going into the spool handle here so I had to make sure it was straight. It's a good pressure there. Turn your machine off or on and start welding. Thanks for watching, guys.